The assassination attempt this week of former President Trump and the murder of an innocent man and the injury of several others at that event shocked our nation, and rightly so. But these things are really a sign of something that we all know is a growing problem. The extreme political polarization of our nation, along with the growing lack of civility and a greater and greater willingness to demonize people we disagree with. But this tragic event also seems to maybe have had some positive things come from it. Both political parties are calling for, are condemning a political violence, which is good. And, and there are many calls to dial back the intensity of our political speech and return to a more civil kind of discourse. And that is a really good thing. There has been some finger pointing about who's speech has been worse. And that's sad. I think there's plenty of blame to go around for everyone there. And it's really an, a, not a positive way to move forward. But if we do want to move forward in a better way, I think that each one of us needs to realize that the change needs to begin with us. There is a great saying that we need to first be the change that we want to see in this world. It's really not enough for us just to call our politicians to rein themselves in. We need to rein ourselves in too. We need to practice what it is that we're preaching. And as people of faith, we are called to peace. Romans 12, 18 says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. So we are called to seek to live at peace with others. That's a biblical mandate. And I think a lot of Christians have forgotten that these days. If we are not seeking to live at peace with others, then we are disobedient. We are not heeding God's call and we're caught up in sin. Yet, if we do want to live with, at peace with others, I think we need to do some real self-evaluation. We need to take a hard and honest look at our actions and our words and really ask if the things that we're doing and saying lead to peace with others or if they do not. And if they do not, then we've got some change that we need to make. We also need to remember that our call to peace isn't just to live at peace with others. It's also a call for us to be peacemakers in this world. In Matthew 5, 9, Jesus says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. So Jesus calls us to be peacemakers, and he says straight out that it is a godly thing for us to do. So we need to actively seek to promote peace, to make peace between other people. And this is a biblical mandate for us too. So let's embrace this biblical call to peace and let's seek to be the change that we'd like to see in our nation and in our world.